Hello guys, I hope you guys are doing well. I am Le Barbosa and um, I'm just here to show you guys how I did this environment. So I hope you guys like the simple breakdown about that and let's jump in. Okay guys, now we are here in Houdini to creating the grounded mountains. I used the model that I did a couple of years ago of the school and uh, I used the position of the school to create a kind of mask and then I used the mask by object uh, for that and then I mask blur, remap it to push up and then noise to create a kind of details like a hill. I used the, the draw curve and resample and sweep to get like a, the volume for the line and then I used the mask by object to create in the river. Um, I mixed the, the both stuff uh, in high field layer. Then I merged that and inverted the mask in high field um, mask by object to creating the mountains around where I don't have the, the river. And then I mixed it, it uh, with high field layer. In another layer, <coughs> I created the mask draw and then mask blur, mask noise and by future to creating the mountains and very background in my scene <clears throat> and then again I use the high field layer to mix uh, all the layers I have in my uh, in my tree in Houdini and then I use the, the mask feature again just to have like some details in the around the river and then I use the, <clears throat> the road to create the proper uh, erosion for the ground in like a temporal way um, and then I used again the mask by future and the mask noise to create in kind of masks just in, in some parts that I wanted to create in kind of rocks and then I used the mask uh, the high field visualization uh, to creating a uh, small look depth of the environment as I said I did this uh, school a couple of years ago and I never used this school uh, here is not like the final uh, result but I'm just taking some like uh, alpha mask for the rocks and that is it that that I used uh, to creating the the model of this school um, so yeah I just did that um, just placed it everywhere rotation the, the stuff like nothing fancy guys um, then I used the HD uh, geometry to create the details and uh, it's super fast to export the, um, the masks, uh, the displacement from um, the brush. And uh, yeah, as you guys can see, there's a lot of details on that, like um, some millions of polygons. I think it was not, not necessary, but I was intending to create a kind of animations um, with that like uh, cameras or maybe doing another shots with this environment maybe in the next time okay guys now we are here in Clarice I will show you guys a breakdown in Clarice uh, how I did this environment so I exported from, uh, from Houdini some textures to creating the river to create the grass and the, also the rocks and then I mixed every textures uh, from uh, Quixel MegScan. Uh, for the school, I exported uh, rock textures from MegScan and creating the gradient based on the slope to scatter the trees and creating the texture for the grass in on the school. Uh, now I show you that we can change the color of the objects uh, in Clarice, and it's easy to understand uh, what the trees is scattered. So I did also the, um, the mask for the grass and you can see that it's not like a full grass in the whole environment, just in the very foreground. And the river I did the path and then uh, path the form to create uh, the, the, the river and using the straight uh, UVs. It gets easy to use uh, the procedural way on the texture for uh, the river. Um, I did also the texture uh, iso mask for the border of the river to scatter some plants and rocks and stuff like that uh, create kind of clusters to 
to scatter the trees on the ground in the mountains uh, I mean like the overall scatter for the forest uh, it's nice because all the time I was using the texture from uh, Houdini and mixed that in, in Clarice using procedural way it's nice to changing all the time and experiment different things uh, also I, I did the scatter like a 200 clouds in the ground it's nice because it's super fast and powerful and this tool is amazing guys you can you have to test so um, this one the very foreground I did the model of the border in, in Maya nothing fancy guys like a 20 minutes I spent on that uh, the ground I just used the texture from my scan and used the displacement map as a base to scatter some grass on the ground the EV I did in uh, Maya paint effects and um, the character I did using like a base mesh and, and the brush and the clothes I used uh, Marvel's design to create it and uh, that's it guys it was done you guys now can see the, the nice result with this environment I hope you guys like it the very very fast breakdown of this this environment um yeah uh see you guys in the next time